Space Shuttle Challenger launches on a January morning in 1986, a key engineer is sure a catastrophe is coming. We've got to stop the flight. We cannot let Challenger launch, period. This is insane. He thinks the ship is going to explode. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. 73 seconds later, disaster strikes. Seven astronauts die in front of their families and millions of television viewers. What really happened during that fateful flight? Was tragedy inevitable? Or could the shuttle and its crew have made it into space? Could they have made it? That question uh, haunts me. Disasters don't just happen. They're a chain of critical events. Unravel the clues and count down those final seconds from disaster. Four, three, 73 seconds to disaster. One. The solid rocket boosters ignite. Inside the right booster, the O-rings have been hardened by the freezing temperatures and are unable to keep the lowermost field joint sealed. They start to burn away. And lift off. And lift off. As super hot gases escape, small pieces of aluminium slag from the rocket fuel build up and block the hole, preventing a catastrophe on the launch pad. 15 seconds to disaster. As Challenger enters a fast-moving yet very narrow jet stream, it is shaken violently. The aluminium slag is dislodged. Almost immediately, a flame appears on the right solid rocket booster. Eight seconds to disaster. With blowtorch intensity, the flame penetrates the external tank, and liquid hydrogen starts to spill out. One second to disaster. The attachment between the booster and the tank breaks free, and the entire bottom section of the tank gives way. The inferno thrusts the hydrogen compartment upwards into the oxygen-filled container, just as the nose of the booster crashes into the top of the external tank. Nearly two million liters of fuel combust instantaneously. The shuttle breaks apart. <laughs>